Hello beautiful, how are you today? In today's video, we are going to put a bunch of products in for a whole entire month in a rolling project pen. How I usually do my rolling project pen, I usually put in a full face of makeup and I try to use these products as much as I can during that month and trying to hit pan or trying to finish up as many as I can. Um, and this month is a little bit different. If uh, the past few months I put in pro uh, products that were older in my collection that I was trying to finish faster or there were just a little bit left in there, this time it's completely different. I have a lot of new products in here and are products that are only under one brand. So uh, let's get with it and I'm gonna show you and apply them on my face in the same time. First things first, I am gonna go with just one uh, primer. I know I usually go with uh, multiple ones, but this one is a pretty humongous one. Is This is from June & Co Moonshine Miracle Cream. And I had this one for quite a while. It has 45 grams of product. My God, let me tell you, it is a lot in here. I only used just a tiny bit in there. This is how much I have left in there. And uh, it's gonna take me forever to use this up. So uh, I'm, I'm thinking this probably is gonna take me months to use it up. And it's getting a little bit up there in my collection. I had it for at least, I would say, a year? At least a year. So I need to use up as much as I can from it. So definitely this one is gonna be in this project pan for a month. I do really enjoy it, actually. It's a really nice one. It's more like a cream. It's very hydrating, but it doesn't give you that you know, uh, wet look or feeling, you know what I mean? So I really like it. Now for foundation, I've decided to go with two foundations and I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna go in with Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. This one I actually purchased it in December last year. And the second one that I wanna go with is this Light Illusion Luminous Makeup Nude Skin Feel from Flower Beauty. This one is a very, very luminous foundation and it looks a little bit too uh, oily <laughs> on me. So, and this one is a little bit of drying on me. So I'm deciding to put both of them, combine both of them so it can give it an overall beautiful look and to the desire that I want because I do not want a very mattifying foundation, but I don't have a, I don't want a very um what is it i don't want a very luminous foundation either plus the one from um charlotte tilbury it is a little bit on the lighter side and the one from flower beauty it is on the darker side so combining the two should give me um the right color and the right finish and it gives me just that beautiful, glowing, healthy look and very closer to my skin tone. Now for my under eyes, I am gonna go with another Charlotte Tilbury. You're gonna see I have a lot of Charlotte Tilbury in this. Let me see if this is, cause I have two that are looking exactly the same, the component. So this is gonna be the under eye, under eye one, but this is the powder and they look exactly the same in the components. So I'm gonna apply this one. I'm not gonna actually add any concealer. This is gonna be the only one. This is actually Magic Corrector, Vanish Corrector I think it's called, and it is in uh, medium. And I do really, really enjoy how this one looks on my eyes without even having to add a uh, concealer. So I'm not even gonna bother to add a concealer this uh, month. It looks absolutely beautiful. And then I will set it up with a Charlotte Tilbury powder that I really, really love for the under eyes. This powder, which is called 
Charlotte's Genius Magic Powder Under Eye and Face. Oh my god, she had some like crazy names with these ones. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one because it is absolutely gorgeous for the under eyes. This powder, it is one of my absolute favorite and it sets your eyes for the entire day without having any problems. So let me make sure I don't get it. I don't have any lines. And just go in there. It is very finely milled and it is super soft to the touch. Very, very soft. And it works, it works really nice under the eyes. I'm gonna add a little bit of my nose over here because I like to bake on this side too. All right, so for my overall, my entire face, I am gonna go with a powder still from Charlotte Tilbury. And this one, like I said, all these products from Charlotte Tilbury, I only bought them in December, so I don't have, I have not had them in my collection for that long. I have not used them too long. Um, so it's definitely important for me to start using these, especially when I know how much I paid for each of them. So this one, it is, uh, doesn't say, but it is the other powder, which is a very blurring, very blurring powder. The only thing is I have it in tan, which is a little bit darker than what it actually looks in here. So I'm just going to make sure I don't apply too much. But this one is a very blurring powder, so it works really beautiful. And look at that. That looks really pretty now for bronzer i do not have any bronzer from charlotte tilbury yet i never know maybe in the future i'm going to but because i don't have anything from her i really want to go and play with this one this is from Too faced cocoa contour and i had this one for a while too and uh, i did play with it a little bit but I definitely want to go back and play more with it. I like it because I can use all the shades. Depends of how uh, tan I want to look or how sculpted I want to look. So I definitely want to go with these. So I'm going to go with um, medium contour. Just going to do a little bit of a contouring. And then I'm going to go with the deep contour and I'm, I'm going to add the deep highlight and I'm going to make that my bronzer. And uh, there we go. I do really love this, uh, this palette and the face palette and I really want to use it a little bit more. I'm going to take what is left under my under eye. Now for blush, I do have one of her blushes and it's in here. This is a Cheek to Shake Swiss and Pop Blush in Ecstasy. I cannot show it really close because it, I broke it. So it's shattered. This is how it looks like. But I do still want to use it. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to grab it like this and just swipe it over my face very gently <laughs> I have to play with this very very gently um, because I am not gonna throw this away and to be honest it, it, I don't know how to repress things so I'm just gonna keep using it like this and there we go yay I done with that now for highlighter I was thinking to go with this one so I'm gonna go with this this is the peach gasm from Charlotte Tilbury and this is like a high blush type of thing it's something between a highlighter and a blush um, it's not necessarily my favorite thing but I definitely need to utilize this more than what I used to so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go with this like that and then I'm just gonna go with my finger on top and uh, hope that is not gonna destroy my powder underneath it but I don't think it will yeah I think it's fine and it's gonna be okay with that all right that's good 
Now for brows, I'm gonna go with this one from Revolution. I don't have anything from Charlotte Tilbury for brows. And this is Revolution Makeup, Revolution whatever, a brow product. And it has a spoolie on one side and it has a really nice heavy duty uh, liner on this side. It is not one of the uh, slimmest or smallest tips so uh, if you like that you're not gonna like this but for me I like it because I do have a ton of uh, fillings to do so it's just making my life easier and the application it is faster there we go and I'm also gonna add one of the Charlotte Tilbury's um, makeup eyeshadow palettes and this one it is in Pillow Talk Luxury Palette. This is how it looks like. It is really pretty and when I first saw it, I I really thought it's not gonna show up. The colors are not gonna show up on my eyes, but they do show up. So I'm gonna go with this color right here that is on the pinkish side and set my eye with it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to hit pan in any of these shadows, but I'm hoping that maybe I can make a big dent in them. And I do like her formula in the eyeshadow palette. is It's really, really pretty. So I'm gonna go with this shadow right here that is a little bit more on the darker side and just kinda add this one in the outer corner. And a little bit in my crease and then I'm gonna go with this lighter shade right here and just kind of add this one all over and I'm gonna add more like in the inner portion and then I'm gonna go with the sparkle and I'm gonna add that one right on top right here Just gonna go into my finger. Yeah. Much better. And I'm gonna get that darker, whatever, brown color and add a little bit under my eye. Really like it. It's very classy, you know, daytime, but also with a little bit of glam and a little bit of sparkle. I think this one is suitable for work for every day. It's just so beautiful. I really do like this one. And I'm glad it's going to be in this project pan because it's also my birthday. So I'm probably going to make a beautiful look with this one. Um, next thing, I do have a brown pencil from her. So I'm going to put this one in here. I do actually like this one. And this one is called the Classic I powder pencil in classic brown and I'm gonna add this one right now I'm gonna put it in my waterline I prefer it for the waterline mm, look at that so pretty now for mascaras I'm gonna go with two mascaras because um, I have two mascaras open at the time and I usually go with mascaras uh two mascaras during the month because sometimes i like one more or the other or because i like to combine the two of them and i have this one that is from makeup geek kish makeup milk <laughs> from milk makeup and it's called kush mascaras and this one is from makeup geek and it's just uh, extension effect mascara. So I'm gonna go with these two. I like this one for the uh, voluminizing effect. This one I like it for the uh, lengthening effect. So I think they're gonna look good together. All right, so this is how the eyes look like. Beautiful. And uh, I do wanna add this thing, little thing in here. This is KKW Beauty and this is uh, the brightening powder and this is in number one. This is a crazy brightening powder and it's very hard to open. Damn. Alright, victory. We opened it. 
And I'm gonna apply a little bit of this right now under the eyes. This is a very powerful brightening powder and I do really, really enjoy it, but I have to be very careful because it can make me look pretty, pretty crazy. And I'm gonna add just a tiny bit on my nose just to kind of give it an, an illusion that is highlighted and a little bit over here. But yeah, it's really insane brightening powder. There we go. Pretty. Now, let's do lips. I have a few things in terms of lips from her, lip product from her. And first, I do have the Lip Cheat and Pillow Talk Liner. And this one, it is uh, very close to my uh, lip color. So you don't see too much of it on my lips. But I do have three lipsticks from her. First of all, I have this one that is a beautiful plum. Um, and this one, it is called Hell's Bells. I'm not gonna put this one, I'm, I'm gonna put all of them in the project pen, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to use all of them. Um, and then I have the Pillow Talk that is in two medium, which is my favorite. It is an absolutely gorgeous brown color. Beautiful, beautiful. So I'm gonna add this one. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. I do have the, the normal pillow talk as well in a mini and I'm just gonna add a little bit of this in the center right there like that and then I have a lip gloss from her and a lip plump um, right here so I have these two uh, which one should I go with first? Hmm. I think I'm just gonna go with this one because it has a little bit of sparkle. So I do want to add just a tiny bit of sparkle over there. So I'm gonna add a little bit of this. And this one is called the uh, Ibiza Night. There we go. These are all the products that I do have in this scoring project pan. I am gonna try to use up as much as I can, but also I do not have like really high expectation at the end of this project pan to have a lot of things um, finished. Probably none of them is gonna be finished, but I am excited to go and play with these products a little bit more because I just, I paid so much for them. I don't want them to go like just be sitting in a, sitting in a drawer. No, I just want to utilize them and I just want to use them. So this is what is going in my project pan. Let me know what uh, is going in your project pan. And uh, thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe or give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. And I will see you all next time. Bye.